Hi, I'm Jim. This is Jim's Little Boat, and I am just going crazy. The sliding hatch on my boat, it goes back and forth, is making this horrible sound. Either there's a screw caught under there, or it's broken, or something. So I'm going to go pull the hatch and bring it back here in the shop and see what's going on. I've got the hatch cover here in the shop, and I didn't really want to make this video, like I said in the intro. This little ridge has been broken away ever since I bought the boat five or six years ago. But lately, it started to crack, if you can see that move. And it's starting to act like a reed when I open and close the hatch. It was pretty annoying, so I didn't want to fix it, but I'm going to have to. As usual, I'm just making this up as I go along. Seems like putting some wax paper down on the workbench would be a great way to get started. I dug through the workbench drawers and I found some nice heavy mat and I've got a nice uh, ribbon of woven cloth, so that's probably going to help. If I had an actual plan for this project, I think it would look like this. I'd build up a little pyramid of strand, chopped strand, and kind of stick it in the hole and then... Uh, level it back, kind of like sheetrock work. You know, you can add as much as you want. You can always sand it back. Made this little block of wood so that we can push it all up there. Let's uh, start out by putting, I was on the phone and this set up a little more than I wanted it to. Like so. Didn't mean for that to stick just yet. All right, that's looking pretty good. Put that on there, like so. And just throw some of that in there. All right, now the hard part, patience. 24 hours, come back, trim it, sand it, see where we are. Well, heck, that looks promising. It's only been about Eight, ten hours, we'll wait till tomorrow and we'll get on with it. That's pretty good. It's uh, still got a little dent right there. I think I'll chop up some strand and put it in with some thickener and put it into those gaps. Just pulled apart some mat to get the strands, put it into the thickened epoxy. And then we'll take a putty knife and put it down and level it into what's left of that hole. Just making it up here as go along. But I think that and some sanding will take care of that hole. My original idea was I was going to take this cloth and run a strip over the whole edge of the mat. But I've been building up little tiny pieces of this mat and uh, saturating it on both sides and working with my fingers. And I think I'm done. I think it's strong enough. I think it's time to just go ahead and sand this thing and see if it fits. After I did all that sanding and feathering on the edge, it was a tight fit inside the groove on the rail. And luckily I have a table saw. So I just took a teensy, teensy bit off the top and made it so it slides pretty easily. Look, I'll show you. I don't want it too loose, but I don't want it too tight. So that's just about right. Now the dilemma, do I paint this or not? Somebody painted it years and years ago and it looks like crap. So I could certainly paint this and make it gleam. And then what does the rest of the top side look like? I think I'll just leave it. We're getting ready to reinstall the hatch. I've taken the rails that we're gonna line up and I put some finish nails in the screw holes. That'll help me line it up in those holes down there when I'm ready to put it back together. Got the hatch pushed into the port side rail and ready to go. On the starboard side, I put down some little globs of 4,000 where I want the rail to go in. I don't think I'm gonna be able to video this. What I'm gonna do is kind of lift the hatch up, slide the rail on to the hatch and then drop it down through the holes, letting the finish nails guide it. Since I need to do this by myself, I've got a piece of heavy old railroad iron wrapped in brown paper, and that's gonna hold down the whole mechanism while I screw it from the bottom. I've got the aft end of the rail down in position. Those uh, nails lined it up nicely, and it's being held down tight by that piece of steel. Let's go below and put in the first screw. Let's pull that nail out and 
put a screw in there. First one went in just fine, repositioned the weight already. Let's pull the second one and screw it in, and so on and so on. And there's the fourth screw. We'll try it out in a second. All right, it moves pretty easily. Not too easily. No screech at all. I think we'll call that a fix. Well, that hatch repair just took about four days. I would get up at midnight every once in a while and put on a second coat of resin. But in any case, it seems to work real well and it doesn't make that horrible sound. I've got a month to launch. I wonder if I could squeeze in one more project that's not an emergency. In any case, thanks for watching Jim's Little Boat and I sure hope to see you out on the water this summer.